Ladies and gentlemen, section 3.6. You're going to notice this is going to be a ton of review from what we were doing in chapter 2. So it should work out really well tomorrow. Um, first off, we are going to write out equilibrium expressions. And we are going to compare them to solubility expressions. And you're going to notice that they're exactly the same. So in chapter 2, we had KEQ. We're just replacing it with KSP, where the EQ was for equilibrium. And now the SP is going to be for solubility product. The rules for writing out the KEQ are products over reactants, coefficients are exponents, ignore liquids and solids. Emma, so we're going to get CA plus 2, CO3 minus 2. There are no um, coefficients, so there are no exponents. So guess what? The KSP is the exact same thing. Okay, it's really nice. Okay, it's ooh, nice and happy. The KEQ is the exact same thing as the KSP. KSP is just a little bit more detailed in its meaning. KSP will actually tell you the number of ions that are in solution. It will tell you the concentrations of those ions in solution. And what we're going to do is calculate the concentrations of ions in solution when you're at equilibrium. So here is a very general outline of the two types of questions we're going to do tomorrow. This will not take very long. Here's my equilibrium equation, silver carbonate, double arrow, into 2Ag+, plus and CO3-2, minus two. the ions are aqueous. So if I'm writing out my KSP expression, it's Ag+, plus times CO3, and the coefficient is an exponent, Ag squared. So there are two types of questions that we are going to get in this class. I'm going to give you this number and you are going to solve for the concentrations, x, x. Or, I'm going to give you these numbers, and you're going to multiply them together, and you're going to solve for the KSP. That is it. Those are the only two styles of questions that you're going to get in this, in this chapter. There's a few more details to add about ratios and things, but if you can understand this, you are golden. So here's a very simplistic example to end off this introduction. If we're using the same equilibrium with the same KSP expression, this says the concentration of Ag is 1.5, concentration of CO3 is 2.3, what is the KSP? So the KSP equals 1.5 squared times 2.3. Plug it into your calculator, I get an answer of 5.2. That's it. The KSP is 5.2. We're going to use that number to compare it to other KSPs, like we did in, in Chapter 2. The bigger the number, the more ions you have. In Chapter 2, it was the bigger the number, the more products, and the more you've shifted right. We're also going to compare it to trial KSPs, just like we compared it to trial KEQs. This is just the introduction to a couple other big questions that are coming down the road. Okay, This is the most important thing. See everybody tomorrow.